So when we first originally left to travel the United States, we had big dreams in mind. We wanted to travel month by month to save money on rent and explore the United States. Well, we did that for three months and thank goodness I booked all three spots and fully paid for this one when I did. As we were traveling through the three months, we started running into problems that had only started to blossom since we started traveling. For instance, our left blinker is out. So driving through a major city with no left blinker is kind of scary. And that's something we never knew was wrong until we started traveling. Another thing we started noticing is the only two issues that we haven't fixed on the truck started acting up and causing the truck to be erratic while we were driving with the camper on. Because the camper is so heavy, it stresses the truck system out even more, which exacerbates the issues that we only started to face once we started traveling. In spending all of the money that we need on life, my boyfriend has been unable to put that money back into his business to see it blossom. So we have been struggling financially as well for the last few months. I'd say last month was the final straw for being unable to support our own lives in the comfortable way that we like to live. I mean, we like to eat. We like our groceries. We wanna go out and have fun. And like, you need money in order to do that. So when we were stuck in Spokane for a while with no money, it just wasn't fun because you see everything around you needs money to have fun and you don't have money, so you don't have fun unless you go and explore the mountains. That's why I kind of like this spot a lot more is because we're nestled in the mountains in a small town. I mean, there's so much less things to spend money on, but anyways. My point being, we were running into all of these issues because we started traveling and we have big dreams and we're so young. Now I'm starting to realize why people wait until they're way older to start traveling because all of these problems have brought us to a screeching halt. It's not a bad thing though, in my opinion. I mean, we still also need to get my boyfriend's taxes paid. We have a lot of things on the inside that we genuinely just need to figure out. And I think it's God making us slow down and fix whatever it is on the inside before we go out and travel the world. I mean, you need a strong base. You need a strong foundation for anything that you do in life. It may not be able to be as great as you want it to be if you don't have a strong enough base. So that's where we're at today. We've decided we're gonna stay at this spot for about a year, maybe longer. I mean, we wanna get married. We want. I wanna get my teeth done. There are just so many things that I want to do and we have to stay in one spot in order to figure it all out. I don't want to say that we failed because it doesn't feel like we failed. It just feels like we're being redirected. We have our entire life to travel the United States. It's not like there's a time limit on anything. I plan to live in a camper for the next decade of my life so I don't really see a year or two being too much of a roadblock. I mean, we also did just move all the way across the United States, so we're straight living a new life and having a good time. I've decided to get a job or two, so I actually am probably gonna get two jobs. Actually, I already most likely have two jobs, so we've only been here for four days. <laughs> But I just had a feeling that I needed to get a job in order to pay for all of our bills so that Zane can put all of his money back into his business because his business is a money building machine. It's just about having enough money to invest back into the business with advertisements. And once we get that settled, then I think we will be really good. So I went to the grocery store down the street and I applied and I got the job. I'm going in today. They're paying 17 an hour, so that's pretty good. I mean, I'll take it. I went in and I just got a job. 
So I'm working at that store and then I also got an on-phone interview for 10 a.m. this morning. It's 8.17 for the YMCA in my local area so that I can instruct group fitness classes again. They even pay more than where I came from so that's awesome. I'm actually really excited. Um, I'm honestly more excited about this than the thought of traveling just because all of those issues that started to come up were really really stressful I mean like those are issues you don't even think about until travel day like the truck not working properly and the blinker being out I mean those are two major problems so we need enough money to be able to do the major repairs on the truck as well I mean there's just so many little internal pieces that we have to work out and honestly everything did happen for a reason um i believe god wanted us here it feels so right in my soul this spot is just so beautiful it's probably the best spot that we've ever been to it's the most expensive spot but it is the best spot um it's 800 dollars a month everything included we're used to spending about six to eight hundred dollars anyway so this is just on the higher end but for good reason it's a nice spot i mean we're not picky people this is the best spot that we've ever been to though we have our own patio we have the water in our back window it's just so beautiful we don't have any neighbors around us so it doesn't feel like a trailer park it feels like you know a campground and we get to live here for a long time we went and we talked to the office and they said all we have to do is pay rent every month i'm just really excited <laughs> I think that it's a redirection just in a positive way. I'm excited to have enough money to eat healthy, to go to the gym regularly, just to feel good about myself, get my teeth worked on, be able to start my credit. I'll be able to figure things out that otherwise I would not be able to figure out if we were just sporadically on the road. And we are so young, we did not fail. This is just redirection. And I'm really proud of us. I mean, we did make it like 24 hours away from where we used to live. So it may seem untraditional right now. It may seem a little weird right now, but we're gonna figure everything out. And I'm really grateful to be where I'm at. I did find freaking earwigs in the ice maker though. I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> I guess earwigs are attracted to like wet spaces and so they must have crawled in through like the back vent of the ice maker and it is so gross to me. I'm not turning that thing on until I figure out what to do or spray around that area or something because that's disgusting. I saw two little swimmers in there this morning and I'm like, no way. Is that why the ice maker's been acting weird lately? Ugh. Okay, also update. <laughs> This is gonna be a really long talking video just because, okay, if you want me to be honest with you, I've been so like overwhelmed, busy this week. I mean, I just got two jobs. We just moved here. We had a bunch of problems getting here. Like I've been a little stressed out, okay? So filming has not been on the highest priority of my list, but that's fine because I'm still staying consistent. I still got you guys. You guys are still my friend. But it is already Wednesday, so this might be a more of a talking video because I just, I don't have much going on that I can film this week, you know what I mean? Plus, I haven't wanted to film, so. I needed to talk about our new air conditioner though. I'm sure that you've been looking at it in the background. Our air conditioner went out the other day and I started filming it at the end of last week's video when it started blowing the breaker. I thought that it was going to be fine, but then once it started getting hotter and hotter, like 90 degrees, I think this week was like the hottest week in this area, it just kept blowing the breaker and it would even do it at night. So that's where I realized like it's not just the heat, it's not just being overly stressed, no, like there's something seriously wrong. But we don't have money to be able to buy parts that we don't know if they're gonna work. We don't have time to wait for parts to get here. I mean, and straight up, we don't have money, okay? <laughs> we don't have money to fix our AC. We don't have money to call an RV repair technician. Like we, we seriously just don't have any money or means to fix the air conditioning and the breaker is blowing for a reason because there's something wrong 
so it's not like we could just keep stressing the system out and like letting the breaker blow because what if that starts a fire or something like there's a reason the breaker is even if it seems untraditional we blew the main breaker though yesterday because for some reason I thought that that pedestal had separate ampage so I thought that it had a 30 amp on its own and a 20 amp on its own. I thought we had 50 amps altogether. Well, I blew the whole thing yesterday. We had to go and wake the maintenance guy up from his nap <laughs> and have him come reset the main campground breaker. I have never done that before and I will never do that again, okay? So yeah, needless to say, it's a learning curve, but I am very happy with the results because this was honestly on my mind for so long and I wanted to go on hikes, I wanted to go explore the area, but I couldn't leave the kitties alone with the AC blowing the fuse because I just, I did not feel good feeling like I could leave my kitties in a dangerous situation. So I'm super grateful that we found a solution. I'm super grateful everything worked out exactly how it was supposed to be. And my conclusion to all of this is I feel like even though we're in a humble period of our life, we're so young. We had big goals that we shot for. We didn't fail, still. I mean, this life just keeps going. It's about the journey, not the destination. I think God has us exactly where he wants us. I felt a deep sense of peace the next morning that I woke up at this RV park. I do not know how to explain it. But the next morning after getting here, I woke up and then I felt like I was home. Like there's no other way to put it. Even though the inside never changes and the outside seemingly has changed for the last three months, this spot has felt more like home than any other spot that we've been to. And that's when I realized like we can't go anywhere. We're stuck here. But are we really stuck? This spot is so beautiful. We're across the country. This has everything that we ever want and need. This is why we started traveling. So I'm super grateful, no matter how it may look on the outside, no matter how confusing it may feel to realize that we didn't reach our goals the exact way that I had planned in our head. But we're still getting there and we're still living our life. I think about my parents at this age and how hard they probably struggled when they were 20. We are just in our building phase of life. We have so much stuff that we still have to figure out and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with re-evaluating, reassessing your situation, and moving forward. I mean, we are in Washington right now, if you couldn't tell, and the winters only say they get down to like 30 degrees. I'm like, that's it? I came from South Dakota. South Dakota had extreme weather. Like, South Dakota was less than 10 as the average temperature so I think we will seriously be okay here for like over a year however long it takes to figure everything out I'm excited to keep taking you guys along on this journey God has us exactly where he wants us and we're being receptive to his word following the path that he has created for us and trusting that everything has happened exactly how it's supposed to happen even though we are seemingly in a re-evaluation phase, in a phase where we don't have everything put together, God is still providing. God is still letting us figure out a way. God is still leading us in the direction that we need to go in order to be safe and taken care of. He is still taking care of us. We've still had all of our needs met. We've still been able to figure out a way and I'm starting to understand what people mean when they say when you have faith in God, you are still going to go through hardships. You are still going to go through struggles, but you will have a clearer understanding of while you are going through those struggles that everything is still deeply okay. That we are still deeply taken care of and loved and nurtured. And no matter what the outside looks like, we will still be taken care of. So we've had to put our pride aside and live in reality for a little bit, <laughs> come back to earth, um, and really just figure out what the next step is from here. 
So I have my phone interview with the gym. Ah! I have the phone interview with the gym in an hour and a half. We don't have any milk, so we're gonna go to the gas station and get coffee, cause I need my coffee, okay? So yeah, that's where we're at today. Had to verbally catch you guys up on everything. I know this video is a little different than what you're typically used to, but we're just hanging out, we're just having fun. I mean, my views have gone like significantly down. I think I have like an average of three to 500 views. Hey friends! You know, that's still a lot of people. We still hanging out. And then I have my loyal freaking subscribers who always comment. I love you guys, seriously love you guys. Um, really, you guys fill my days up and you help me feel less alone in this world. So, thank you. I'm gonna keep living my life and I'll take you guys along for the rest of the day. Oh, so, we didn't end up going to the gas station. We went to the coffee shop down the road. Look at this literally the size of my head 32 ounce coffee drinks do I feel stuck here no I feel awesome here this is awesome I just did my interview with the gym that I have applied at and they seem like they really liked me they just have to confirm some things with the HR department but they said they want me to do yoga sculpt again which is my specialty that's what I really pushed for and they said they'd have me do two classes starting a week, but they said it's gonna take like two weeks to four weeks to finalize everything to where I can finally get in and start instructing. I'm so excited. On top of instructing classes, I will also be substituting other people's classes so I can use all my certifications because I'm certified in cycle, yoga sculpt, hit, and bar. So I can do pretty much anything that they're gonna need. I'm super excited. I feel like everything is happening exactly how it's supposed to. After I got my chores done, I was able to go into town and pick up the paperwork that I needed to start my grocery store job. And then we went to Walmart to pick up some groceries that we needed at home. It felt nice to finally get a restock going. We got some milk, carrots, beef, yogurt, cookie dough, and pizza. We got chips of both kinds pasta we got some pop we should really lay off the pop i know two cans of pineapple kitty treats alfredo sauce queso dip these knockoff chocolate bars and gummy worms some thousand island dressing and cookies we got a lot of snacks this trip because we already had a lot of the main staples that we need and this is just the non-food items that we got that's everything that i got for food we also got this huge thing of litter because it was on sale so it was the best price that we could get and then i also got some work clothes so the work attire was plain white or black t-shirt so i got one plain white t-shirt one plain black t-shirt i got these for my work pants because i couldn't find anything really any better than these skinny jean khakis Plus, they might be a little more breathable than like really thick pants. And then finally, I got these Walmart shoes. I just got black Walmart basic tennis shoes. And now I guess I'm ready to start work next week. I'm just gonna relax for a little bit and I think I'm probably gonna cook dinner. Dinner tonight was a little different. I decided to do barbecue Polish sausage on top of mashed potatoes with carrots on the side. I just piled everything together um, and it was really good for what it was. That food was so good today and I'm so glad that we got to go to the grocery store because I could trust that the kitties were safe with this air conditioning working as well as it is. I just got done talking to my friends for a couple hours and that was really fun. Zane changed his transmission fluid. So he's out driving his truck around. I took a really, really nice shower. And now the kitties are probably going to want to go outside 
before the sun goes all the way down. Here is one of the great value chocolate bars. I've never tried it before, but it's supposedly just as good as Twix. Mm -hmm. That's good. Oh my gosh. Recommend. Thank you, friend, for sticking till the end, and I'll see you next week.